Hey, and welcome back to, to, well, another news video. I wasn't expecting to have one out. The Jenny, well, it hasn't been, page hasn't been refreshed yet. How long ago was the upload for the other news video? 17 hours ago. Uh, probably when this comes out, it'll be a day, so. But, you know, they revealed next week cards, but waiting on one more. And I really want to be keeping you a couple of day on charm cards. Because, you know, the new charm sports out. <laughs> God, I... Well, you probably read the title. I should have introduced by saying we're going to be looking at the new charm support. Um, but we're going to do something a little different. We're going to go through my expectations because even though it was five days ago, I can't remember what I said. So we're just going to go through Such this. Such a good field spell. Yeah. Another thing is with the field spell is. Uh, the shoot back for card searchable. Yep. There you go. All right. So the first thing I said is I wanted to see is back row support. That's why I wanted back row searcher. We technically got that. So let's reference the two new monsters we're getting. Awaken Possessed. Oh god, this is going to be annoying. At least I kept Possessed in the name, so it's still searchable. In a degree. Um, with its stats, not so much. They're level 5, which seems counterintuitive to be honest, because in fact we're playing a level 4 deck. Um, you can spec on this card, form your hand or deck, send one face up spellcaster monster and one level four low earth monster you control to the graveyard. Yeah, why level four low? I, I mean, I guess it's supposed to keep it with the familiar PS being level four, but why level four? Because let's say, for example, um, you steal one of their monsters from graveyard using the FE links, which is kind of designed with the back row cards in mind so yeah you want to deny them with the big boss monsters you just destroyed you can't summon this unless you take one of their level fours or you have well one of the level fours out yeah um the good thing is it does keep the charmer's weak edition of being special to summon from deck i mean it still can be ash but still the point is it's still kind of good um Piss off, but yeah, um, let's at least try to see if it has justification for a special summon effect. So, when this card is special summoned by its first effect, special summon one or four lower monster for you, but its effects are negated. Okay, so there's some reasoning to the prize there, it's like you're sending a level four, but now you can just res any level four from your graveyard. Yeah, this was still would have been better if this was level four because then that was would have been like it would have justified it. In a way, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. It just seems weird that it's level five, and then it locks you into something a level four lower. But yeah, um, this card sent from the field of graveyard. Add one special earth art or one possessed spell trap card from your deck to hand. Okay. I don't like how it specifically says spiritual earth art card. It's like, yet again, implying you want to be playing the spiritual arts in a charmer deck, which you don't. But on the other hand, back row searching, that's actually really good. I think it's too early to call ratios, because I haven't been able to test it out yet. I'll keep you informed via my Twitter. Um, but I think this could be a two-off. Maybe because if you see it in your hand, it's really kind of a bit of a brick. Being able to special on it from deck it does make it a little bit better, though. Um, anyway, I don't know. It's a bit weird. Um, Awaken Possess, great Inari Fire. So this is just the upgraded version of Inari Fire. So um, you can only use this effect. Da -da -da. Special summon this coffee hand. It's the exact same with um, Awaken Possessed. But this time you need to have a face up level 4 or lower fire type you control. This is the thing I don't like. I wish this and was an or. Then this support. Well, mostly maybe would have been broken, but I think it's better. Like, I don't know. It's the reason why FPs didn't do well. Like, that's like FPs only got g were played as a deck because they were level fours. You could still normal summon them. You were never gonna get the special summon condition off because it's incredibly hard to do so. In this case, they're just 
changed. They pretty much went, let's make FPs again with the Awakened Possessed. But then we will just, you know, make them worse by making them level 5s. Like, what? Why? <sighs> anyway. We'll call them APs for now. Um, so yeah, uh, if this is special on, you can choose a monster you control and inflict damage to its original attack. And then, of course, when it's sent to the graveyard, this one searches out the fire art and one possessed. This is a zero one. I'm just gonna call it now. This is. You really don't want to be playing. Why a burn card? It does nothing. At least with Archfiend Reaper of Nefariousness. Jesus Christ, that's a mouthful. Um, it has a graveyard res effect, which could be useful because you know you could then tribute that card for a spiritual art. <laughs> Uh, but here it's just a burn. Why? I have a feeling that all the arch fiends, like, or sorry, I mean, all the APs are going to be based on the spiritual card that they have. So if we go over here, you know, look up spiritual water art. In this case, um, this is something tells you water is going to have effects like this, where you can just nick one of their cards from hand. And then, what, that leaves wind. Wind was bounce, wasn't it? Yep, yeah, just bounce. So, yeah, because, yet again, to prove my point, the fire one was a burn card. In this case, FPs just v are just spiritual arts and a different name, but with, well, more annoying conditions, if you ask me. Yeah, but, yeah, again, I'm really glad that the. The possessed cards are going to be back row searched. Yay, the back row cards are searchable. Not the main cards, though. I wish it was more generic with FP searching. Here's the thing, though. You can't search the field spell yet from these cards. Because, yeah, again, Spiritual Earth. And the field spell is Grand Spiritual Art. So, yeah. Um, Four final card. Because, yeah, because we can lose the field spell. We're gonna have this coming out, which is the fourth card. We got a fifth card coming, and that's either gonna be Vanryu or uh, Vanryu or, Gig or Gigabyte. My money's on Gigabyte. I highly doubt they're gonna do Vanryu, but who knows? Maybe they'll do six brand new cards for this set. That would be nice. So uh, you can only use one of these cards. Effect da da da. Um, special summon one spellcaster monster with 1,500 defense when you hand a graveyard, so that's the FP or normal charmer. Yep. And monster we want, if there's two different attributes among monsters you control, you can destroy one face that card in the field. Monster we born with a pop, that's not bad. I'll give it that. And its graveyard effect is just recycle your back row um, possessed cards. Not bad. Not the best. Two to three off is my guess. Yet again, I need to be able to play around the cards first for, you know, a solid opinion. Um, should I, before we move on to the reprints, talk about what we're going to be getting in this set? Because we really have a very solid idea of what we're getting. So yeah, we're getting reprints of da da da. Van Vee reprint coming this early. Oh, well, I guess when it comes on T OCG, yeah. Mm. Effect Railer reprint, probably as a common, that's really good. Spellbook and Knowledge reprint, that's pretty good. And Unpossessed reprint, that's pretty good, because at... Because Unpossessed is printed as a really old card already. Um, of course, we already have the reworked Familiar Possessed cards, which are now based on the new card art. We've got the tokens. Da -da -da. Do we have any? Yeah, and then, of course, Charm is going to be printed with the Awakened Possessed, which is good because its first printing was in Door Overload. And if uh, I have not seen anyone with that card in from Door Overload, so it's a good call to reprint in this set. <sighs> Okay, so, my expectations for Charm of Structure Deck was both incredibly high, but also incredibly low. Like, I was expecting Charmers to be, at least, be enabled to be a really good casual deck. But at the same time, Charmers is such a mixed bag of effects that I wasn't expecting that much at the same time. Um, 
So what do I think with the context of four of the five to six? I think six is unlikely. I think five is more likely of the four cards. So I'm going to just, I mean, to be honest, we had a really strong impression with this field spell. I mean, seriously, voter for your familiars, so you don't have dead FBs in your hand and the ability to negate monsters effects once per turn is pretty good. Although it is a mandatory activation condition, you can't activate it. So it's easy to bait out. Um, tokens, well, I'm glad we didn't get a token generator. I'm just happy that these tokens are just fan service. I'm happy for that. Um, we gained some good reprints, at least. I mean, knowledge reprint is going to be nice, although there's so many reprints of it already. Um, effect trailer reprint. Yay! Effect trailer. I don't think there will be room for it in our Charmer deck, but here we are. And then finally, we have, you know. Okay. Trap card. I think that's well designed enough. The graveyard effect could be better, but you know you're not going to be really using the graveyard effect to begin with. Uh, the APs, Jesus. I feel like it would be better if this was an ore. If they remove that and and change it with an ore, this would have been better. Because you're very making them level five. Okay, it's like come on. There's no point for that. But you're making them level 5, so they can't be just a free switch out, rank 4 enabler. That's fine. But the fact you made them in line with the FPs, needing a face-up spellcaster and then one level 4 or earth monster to go with it, because, you know, the FPs are like this as well. Granted, it's more generic than the FPs summoning condition, but... I don't like it. I don't think it has a use in the deck. Like, these cards are good. Don't get me wrong. Being able to search back row is really good. The problem is, is, well, one of the extra card effects are useless. The other thing is, you need to send two monsters to summon it. This is pointless, because Let's be honest, you're playing FB, you're going to be playing FB Beatdown. You're not going to play any other variation in the deck, you're going to be playing FB Beatdown. Your main goal first is to get the, is to get these cards out with these cards, with the two back row cards protecting them. Ooh, it's pointless now. It feels like they don't want to do that in a way. Yet again, Grand Spiritual Art is a thing, they kind of want you to not be making these. But the point still stands. And, of course, we have only four of the five cards being revealed. <sighs> I don't know. I don't... Unless they want to break the rule and go beyond five brand new, new cards for the structure deck. I, I, I don't see the structure deck being a success outside of the people who already want to buy Charmers. I mean, I was very sold on buying this structure deck the second it was announced. And I'm still going to buy it, but I don't see people buying this, yet alone it being meta. It's not going to be game-changing like um, Shadows. It's not going to be game-changing like Dinos. It's not... It may not even reach the level of Machina. I know it's a bit early called Machina, but seeing that Machina has like at least one card in there you can use for ABCs once we get ABC Buster Dragon off the ban list. I have no hopes the channel structure deck being meta and I'm willing to be proven wrong I I really hope I get proven wrong yeah Hilter uh, was here what do you mean by that because we don't have who's missing from that then wine yeah wine isn't listed here as a new card did I miss something? Oh, that's right, I forgot. We have... This card, yeah. Yeah, forgot, we have the um, OCG exclusive um, win the win medium. Who's always treated as a charm card is not actually bad. I think... 
I think with this we could move away. I don't know, maybe this would make it more consistent, but then, again, the extra deck is really kind of a ready, because let's say this is your, what your deck looks like. You take out all the spell switch stuff, that's your consistency gone. Okay. Cool. You, you need these staples. You might not need Metaverse. I think Metaverse is going to be still good. you got 28 spots left. Okay, what's the ratio then? I don't see it being good. Yeah, again, yeah, there's the rumor, apparently, of that new Sun Magician card being good. I need to go find that. Actually, real quick. Nah. Because apparently we're supposed to get a Bomo. Sun Magician. That's supposed to help Charmus. I, I, I keep hearing it. I don't remember it. Here, this one. Yeah, it's Earth level 4 spellcaster. It will work really well. So yeah, we, we have heard nothing about this yet. I hope we hear about it soon. Yet again, I'll probably just talk about that on Twitter then. Apart from that... Yeah, uh... I don't have... High... As high hopes for it anymore, but... No, here we are. Um, anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in. I'll be working on the Plunder Fee video for tomorrow, I guess, and then I'll try to get recording done for the Time Fee video so that can be edited and all out of the way. So, yeah. Um, thanks for watching, and goodbye.